1st of May 2014, Labor Day, 11.30 a.m. Okay, just now I have a very interesting case of a dog with a golden urine. Now, in this case, the owner wants, of course, the least cost, least medical cost, and yet she wants to know what is the problem with her dog. The complaint was that the dog was immobile in the morning, not able to walk. And also that she was uh, carrying the dog and the dog cries, especially when you carry the dog on the belly area. So in this case, she wants to know what is the problem. So when the dog came here, of course the dog was able to walk and uh, there was no severe pain palpated. So in, in such cases, the owner still wants to know what is the problem, but she doesn't want uh, more detailed uh, lab tests like x-rays, blood tests. So for the vet to make uh, the medical cost affordable, the vet has to listen to the owner and, and come to a conclusion. Now in this case, abdominal palpation of the bladder. I, I palpated the bladder, it was half full. And based on the owner's comment that the dog has not peed this morning, so there is a possibility that the dog has a painful bladder. Now this dog, according to the owner, jumps to the bed and jumps down because he wants to sleep with the owner. So there's a possibility that before he became uh, immobile or unable to walk, he might jump down from the bed and hurt his uh, uh, penis or the area near his uh, kidney. So now, to, to, to make the medical cost low, one has to, uh, to do what is necessary. So the, the main thing is to relieve the pain. So to relieve the pain and also to get the urine. So these are the, the two cheapest way. So I gave the dog injection of Spasmoji uh, 6 plus Betrio and uh, uh, Prednisolon. So within five minutes, the dog peed and it peed a lot. This is only part of it, you know. The golden urine is really golden and clear. So this shows that uh, there was some severe pain in the urinary tract so the dog couldn't pee uh, but with the drugs to relax the bladder the dog peed so now uh, it's not sufficient just to collect urine so we do a deep stick test we do a deep stick test that would let us know more details about the nature of the urine so i dip this one in and, and uh, it has to be right within five minutes of the dipping into the urine. Now, I will put this down and uh, compare to the parameters here. Now, to compare, I would have to uh, put it across to the to the normal. Now, the normal urine, the colors. Huh? Now, blood will be green, but there is no blood, so it's normal. It's negative blood, as you can see. Uh, this one is negative, not so no blood. And then we go to the next one, bilirubin, no no problem. Then a uh, urobilirubin, gen, no problem. And we go down to what's the next one? Next one is let me see. The next one is ketones, no problem. Glucose, no problem. So the dog didn't have diabetes. Now this one, the protein, put in the urine. You can see that is is a bit green. So you look to the next one. In fact, it's about this this part. So it's, it's uh, we call it uh, two plus. So this is the main finding two plus, and the next one will be uh, nitrate, no problem, nitrate, and then leukocyte is the white blood cells, uh, maybe a bit, but not much. Then the pH, now pH is important. pH will tell us. Uh, whether the urine is alkaline or not, you can you can shift this up to almost this seven to eight because this color is about here. It's seven to eight, so P seven to eight. Then uh, so this urine is alkaline, I would say. Then now we go to the specific gravity to see how concentrated urine is. Now the urine is very concentrated. Yeah, of course, it'll be more green, and you can see it's it's quite green. So I would say the Urine specific gravity is 
probably 1.005 and so this shows that the dog is able to concentrate the urine so there should be no problem if not then it should be yellow color it can't, it can't concentrate urine the kidney there's some problem with the kidney so in, in conclusion I would say that this dog probably has some injury either to the bladder or to the kidney that's why resulting in uh, protein 2 plus but then it could be other reasons like bladder stones or kidney stones but since the owner does not want to x-ray it's hard to tell so I will send this this uh, urine to the, to the lab to have a, another analysis to see whether there's crystals or not if there's crystals then we will give the owner more detailed answers so now as I said it's very difficult to come to a conclusion without evidence but uh, the, the evidence from the lab test like x-rays uh, blood tests and urine tests are basic ones so now I have only the urine test but more or less based on the history it's likely to be a traumatic injury according to the owner the dog has suffered once before so it's important to ask the owner whether the dog had a similar incident and she said yes and after the vet gave an injection the dog recovered so uh, the conclusion is don't let the dog jump onto the bed and sleep with the owner because the dog has to jump down, up and down, you see, and this small dog, he hurt himself. So my advice to the owner is, or the owner's advice was to put the mattress down on the floor. So the husband and wife put the mattress on the floor, the dog's mattress is also on the floor. So I advise the owner to, to do it that way, so all sleep on the floor. And then uh, reward the dog with treat when the dog sleeps on his own bed every night. So that to slowly uh, get the dog used to his own bed because he's been given treats, rewards and uh, this is a positive reinforcement training and after some time, maybe months or weeks the couple can put back the mattress on the bed frame and the dog will sleep on the floor by himself now, in the first place, the owner should not have let the dog jump onto the bed and sleep with them especially after the first episode of, uh, of pain with the bed the first bed so in any case this, this, uh, the dog with the golden urine is actually the diagnosis is actually probably a traumatic injury to the urinary tract, most likely the bladder or the kidney. And uh, so, without having to do spend so much money on blood tests and x rays, this is about the best diagnosis that can be done because of the history and of course, it was a previous occurrence. but. Uh, the prevention is more important and the advice to the owner is to to, uh, to train the dog to sleep on his own bed and if he can do that then there should be no more recurrence of this unable to walk and unable to pee as the dog normally pees in the morning so in conclusion the best advice is listen to what the owner says and this, this takes a lot of time and uh, if you don't listen of course you, you won't catch the the happenings and uh, in this case the, the diagnosis was traumatic injury to the bladder or kidney or the penis. Thanks. Okay.